Now, far from the pomp and pageantry that we've seen unfold here in London, we turn to a very, very different story back home. Those deadly tornadoes that ripped through the south on Wednesday. Nearly 300 people were killed in six states. Two-thirds of the fatalities were in the state of Alabama. More than 1,000 people were injured as the storms obliterated home after home. As many as one million homes and businesses are still without power. Some may not have electricity restored for five days. President Obama will travel to hard-hit Tuscaloosa today to view the damage and meet with local officials there. He's already signed a disaster declaration for the state of Alabama. Harry Smith is in the Pratt City section of Birmingham. Harry, what's the latest from there? Well, I'll tell you what, Katie, you know, we say this so many times, but I'm not sure I've ever seen anything quite like this before. Here in this neighborhood, everything is absolutely flattened. And the truth is, in the many states that you said, and especially here in Alabama, it's neighborhood after neighborhood after neighborhood that has been completely destroyed. And that is really the story across much of the South. The pictures feel all too familiar, but the storms that descended from the skies Wednesday evening were more powerful and more devastating than anything recorded in decades. Ricky Isaac was lucky. I only had a few seconds to get to the basement, and so in, and within 60 seconds it was over with. You see what can happen in 60 seconds. Lifetimes of hard work were torn asunder in seconds. It's a point in your life where you feel like you're settled and you don't have to worry about anything and then now you got to start over. Wow, you can just, this thing cut a clear path all the way from Tuscaloosa right into Birmingham and you can see it on the ground. My gosh, if, if you were on the ground and, and this were coming your way, Lord have mercy on you because there's not much left that's standing that, that after this thing went through. Homes and communities were reduced to splinters. Lives and the simple sense of safety and well-being were upended and shattered. The cost will no doubt be in the billions, but no amount of money can restore what was lost here. And Katie, here's the headline from the Birmingham News this morning, epic destruction. The last time there were storms like this was back in the 70s. Uh, almost as many, more people died back then. I think the only reason uh, there weren't, weren't so much uh, death and destruction because the warning systems are so much more sophisticated. But uh, me meteorologists and scientists have been looking at the, the data and they think that the storms that came through here Wednesday in evening may have been the uh, most severe ever recorded. Katie. And Harry, epic is really the right word for it. Do they believe there might be any survivors that are buried under the rubble since so many structures were, at, you know, devastated? Yeah, well, the search goes on, and quite honestly, Katie, it's almost Katrina-esque, especially in the neighborhood behind us here. As we walked through last night, you could see that on the on the front of the houses, the res search and rescue crews had gone through and spray painted to say that the, the house had been searched. So there's that s sort of... Uh, epic then search and rescue that's been going on throughout the South and there's still a number of people unaccounted for. People are just hopes that because uh, communication has been difficult, they just haven't been able to find them yet. All right, Harry Smith in the Pratt City section of Birmingham, Alabama. Harry, the pictures are just unbelievable and I know you'll have much more tonight on the CBS Evening News. We look forward to talking to you then. Harry, thanks so much.